A triad woman is trying to make sense of a deadly crash that killed her husband in an instant. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke to his wife tonight. She shared the love they had for each other and the impact he had on others. It's very rare that you find someone who gets you in all forms, who loves you unconditionally, and who holds the title of both best friend and life partner. Well, Dustin and Kaylee Clapp had just that. We weren't together forever, but when we were together, it was, it was forever. And it wasn't long enough. Married for almost five years, Dustin and Kaylee Clapp were each other's best friend. I knew how much I loved him, <laughs> but it was evident how much he loved me too. Now she heads into her second night without him, which is taking a mental toll on her. That's why she didn't want to show her face in this interview. Trying to sort through all of my thoughts and picture a new normal, one that I didn't want, one without him. Dustin was driving on NC-62 near Pleasant Garden around 2 p.m. on Monday. Investigators say an impaired driver crossed the center line and hit Dustin's semi-truck, causing it to flip and killing him. It breaks me. Kaylee says her husband had a great heart and always made sure she was okay. He chose me and I chose him and we could just sit and hold hands and he would just say I love you out of the blue. The couple took lots of trips and both had a love for animals. He lit up a room. He was a, he, if, if he thought you were not having a good time, then it was like his mission to ensure that you were going to have a good time. Building a trucking company from the ground up, Dustin was driven and influenced lots of people. But now Kaylee will have to cherish the memories they made instead of look forward to the ones they could have had. I have to remind myself that he is not here anymore. Over and over again. I miss him. And I just want... Uh, I want him back. In Liberty, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2. The suspect in this case, Lance Miller of West Virginia, was not injured. Troopers arrested him for reckless driving and DWI.